right, guys, to make this as easy as possible, this is just a short uh, screencast on how to use the, the template um, that is provided for you for your online portfolio. If you notice, you will see that each part of the portfolio is represented. Um, the one that's not is this title page, and it's really very simple. Title page will include the title of the portfolio, probably some reference to the metaphor, your name, the date, and the fact that it's comp one. So you're going to create a title page, and then there's some information that follows here. It says um, page break, control plus enter, and essentially you're just going to start a new page. So hitting control enter will um, add a new page to your document, which is what you want to do for each of the parts of the portfolio. So title pages first. What you'll find next is the introduction. Leave this here so the, the blue needs to stay as is. The instructions then paste the text of your introduction here. What that means is I would probably type it in a new document, save it, and then um, copy and paste it into this document. Once it's pasted, you're going to hit a new page or add a new page or add a page break, and you do that with Control Enter. Then you'll get to the table of contents, noticing that the table of contents is going to stay the same. You don't actually have to do anything with the table of contents. It just stays as is. You're going to hit um, page break, control enter. So nothing changes with this. Then you're going to get to your writing samples. And this first one is your diagnostic or also your, your greatest achievement essay. Um, you're going to copy and paste the text of your entry slip here. Insert a page break and then copy and paste the essay on the start of that new page. Now remember, for this essay, you need to have revision and the original copy. So you're going to post your revised copy first and then the original. When you get to writing sample two, it's your significant place essay. You're going to copy and paste your entry slip here. Hit or, um, I guess, insert a new page break, and then copy and paste the text of your essay here. Now, if you have evidence of process, so if, if this is the essay that you chose to show me pre-writing, drafting, peer revision, you are going to include all of that after this essay. If you included process of revision, you're going to include your newest essay on top, followed by the original. So I want um, entry slip always comes first, then the most recent copy, whether that's a revised copy or whether that's the one that I graded, and then anything else will follow behind it. If that is pre-writing, drafting, etc. You only have to choose revision for one essay besides the diagnostic. So the diagnostic has to be revised. You picked one other essay to do that with. The evidence of process only has to be done with one essay of these four. So you can choose. So you've got a choice. So don't think that you have to do this for every one. You're only showing revision for one other than the diagnostic, and you're only showing evidence of process for one um, total. So then all three of the, the essays then will follow. So the significant event essay or your narrative goes here. Your expository how-to expert essay goes here. Your persuasive or letter for change essay goes here. Lastly, you're going to put in any personal inclusions that you may have, whether that's one or two or three, you can include up to four. And if you would just follow the same format for all of them, it's very important that you have a new page for every entry slip and a new page for the beginning of every essay. So if you can remember those things, um, that would be great for the personal inclusions. And then at the very end, you're going to include your conclusion or metacognitive essay. And you're simply going to copy and paste the text of that conclusion essay as a new page. Um, and that's really it to the portfolio. Um, if you follow the directions, um, hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, um, don't hesitate to ask um, via email or using that discussion board. I am going to show you an example um, that was done by a student, and it's not in the same format, um, but it'll kind of give you an idea as to what one should look like. So here is um, the title page, 
And if you notice, then everything starts on a new page. Here's the introduction. If you notice the blue um, has stayed the same, so leave the title. So here's the student's introduction. Here's the table of contents. Notice it stays as is, so you don't need to do anything with table of contents. Diagnostic essay is first. Here's the entry slip. Notice there's a new page. This is the final draft of that essay. We're going to skip past that analysis. So that's where you would include the, the track changes copy. And then after that, where that analysis paper started, you are going to include the original that I had um, graded. So you're going to include the, the first one that you did. And then if you notice, um, this is one that they had chosen for a writing process essay. So they included a screenshot um, of what the essay, a, a draft. And that's just kind of a funny little haha. -ha. So um, then the next essay follows. So any questions about any of this? Um, you know, everything should follow. Entry slip should follow, should begin every essay, followed by most recent copy, whether that's revised copy or whether that's my teacher comment. After that, you'll put in any process um, information if you have it. If you don't, you just go on to the next essay. Do remember you need process of, you need revision, evidence of revision for diagnostic and one other essay. You need evidence of process for just one. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to email, or if you prefer, um, put it in the discussion board for the good of all. Good luck.